Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about whether a graph or a table indicates a relation or a function. So, first of all, let's talk about how to decide whether what we have is a function. So, it's always going to be a relation, but it's not going to be a function all the time. So, in a function, we have inputs, what we call x values and outputs which are the y values so let's take a coordinate plane if we just talk about that point the x value let's say these are like regular numbers on the coordinate plane uh, the x value for that point is 4 the y value for the point is 3 so what we put inside is called x which is the input and then what comes out of the function when we put 4 inside this function it gives us a 3 that's our output for each input we should have only one thing that comes out of this function so if, if I'm gonna put 4 inside this function it should give me 3 all the time uh, if I'm gonna plug in 2 the answer should be a particular number it cannot give me one number at one time and then another number uh, some other times so right now this is a function let me show you how just an example uh, of a relation not a function so let's take this point let's say that point is part of our solution the coordinates of that point would be 4 negative 3 right so 4 is my input it gives me positive 3 at times and then it gives me negative 3 other times that doesn't make sense if we are talking about a function this cannot happen uh, so if I have a point if I have a point like that yellow point uh, with the same x value uh, as another point then I'm not dealing with a function but that's not what I have in this case uh, right now this is a function and with a graph here's an easy way to figure that out we call this a vertical line test we learned about this in the past in first semester with my students so when you move a vertical line along the graph if you touch more than one point at any given time then you're not having a function this right here touches to this one point no point of intersection just I'm touching just one point and then just another point over here so I'm not touching m any more than one point at any given time when I move a vertical line along this graph so the answer to this question would be a yes because of that yes this relation is a function oh I didn't realize that I started from point 40 uh, I didn't realize that that wasn't the first level. Let me get back to the first level to see if there are easier questions. Okay, let's start with this. Look at this table. Is this relation a function? Again, think about what I said with the previous question. I said if your x value is repeating, like the question before, uh, the x value was 4, it went to 3, and then I draw another point, went to negative 3. If that happens when your x value is repeating, you do not have a function look at your x values is any of them repeating like is any of these repeating seven I don't see more than one seven I don't see more than one five more than one six or four so by the way y values can repeat you can see more than one twelve over here these can repeat uh, I don't know what's going on okay they can repeat but the x values cannot repeat if we have a function so this one no x value is repeating this is a function check this one out uh, let's write this as an ordered pair 5 goes to 10 right domain is the x values my input values range is the y values or the output in other words x should not repeat input values should not repeat domain values should not repeat 5 goes to 10 and then look at that 6 I see two arrows 
coming out of six, one of the arrows goes to seventeen, the other arrow the other arrow goes to one. This is this is the problem. X value cannot repeat. This is not a function, it's just a relation. Uh, 20 is not a problem because only one arrow comes out of that one but as long as you have one example you just stop and then say that this is not a function and again you should focus on the repeating x values repeating domain values do not worry about repeating range elements repeating y or output elements so this is not a function because 6 which is a part of the domain is repeating it should go to only one number. Okay, let's do a vertical line test, okay? That's my vertical line. I'll move it along. I'm touching one point, no point, just one point over here, and then another point over here. I did not touch any more than one point at any given time. There's no point over here. There's no point of moving that line over there. So this is a function. And again, this is called a vertical line test. If you have a graph, you can see whether you have a function or not just by moving along a vertical line over here I hope that you see the problem this is not a problem but there is my problem you cannot touch any more than one point let's just write the coordinates of the two points to just see why it is not a function the first one over here is over 1 up 3 and then this one here is over 1 up 4 1 goes to 3 1 goes to 4 doesn't make sense if you have a function just imagine a machine that is called a function when you put something a product inside that uh, when you put something and then the output what comes out of that same thing should be the same all the time if you're putting 1 you, you shouldn't have like you shouldn't end up with 4 at one time and then with 3 at another time so since your x value is repeating this is a no and also this fails the vertical line test that's just another reason a visual reason again if I focus on this side I do not see an arrow that comes two arrows or more than more than one arrow uh, that comes out of one number so this is a function if I had like two arrows coming out of 12 then I would say no if this was a case then I would say no this is not a function but no two arrows or more than one comes out of one single number on the left side oh I was gonna say yes this is a function because again no x value is repeating is there any x value repeating no so the answer is yes this is a function okay I'm blind <laughs> okay, look, look at these numbers they were repeating uh, don't rush these questions because you can make stupid mistakes like I did uh, moving on 1 negative 3 12 12 I have a repeating x value this is not a function vertical line test imagine you have a vertical line if you move it along it is not going to touch any more than one point so this is a yes it's a, it's a function let's skip this is going to be a yes let's skip and see if the questions get any harder okay which of these relations is a function do the same thing check your x values are they repeating 13 9 14 4 so this is a function but since it was just the first option I'm just a little bit uh, skeptical I want to see the other options 20 is repeating cannot be a function 5 is repeating cannot be a function 10 is repeating cannot be a function and if you realize I did not even check the y's out so just to show you something 8 is repeating in here but that doesn't mean anything because y values can repeat the problem is the x values they should not repeat for us to say yes this is a function same concept check the x value if they're repeating like this 9 and 9 that's not a function nothing is repeating for the x column in here so that is a function let's skip a level okay uh, let's see there's my problem two arrows coming out of 11 
So 11 gives me 17 at one time and then it gives me 14 another time. That doesn't make sense for a function. Looking at the first option, I only, only have one arrow that, that is coming out of each number. So this is my function. I don't see two arrows coming out of 18 or 16 or 4 or negative 8 or 15. That's going to be my answer. Let's see the problem in here. 17 is problem is the problem in option C. In the last option, 18 is the problem. Right here, we have two arrows coming out of 18. That is the issue. So that would be my answer. So that's it uh, for this assignment, guys. If you have a graph, utilize the vertical line test. Y move along a vertical line, imaginary vertical line. If you touch more than one point, it is not a function. If you have a table, see the x values, see the domain elements or the inputs. If they are repeating, then you do not have a function. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video.